standing five. No, go to um, what's that? Jeremiah. You got that? You got Jeremiah. Jeremiah fourteen and two. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. Right. It says Judah mourneth. Judah is the blacks. The gates in the ancient world, the um, the the hierarchy men set in the gates. So what what type of hierarchy men we got today? Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Cornel West. Cornel West go ahead. But it said Judah mourning. Mourning meaning they're in sorrow. Right. That's why we're in the ghetto. That's why we're in the ghettos. That's why we own all the welfare. Go ahead. They are black unto the ground. Right, See they that? are black unto the ground. Jesse Jackson them ain't teaching this because they sold out to this society. See that? They, they took basically they took money to uh, keep this down, to keep this information from our people. That's why Al Sharpton got a, a, a news station now. But he's supposed to be a reverend. But well, where's his church at? <laughs> he ain't got no church, but they call him Reverend Al Sharpton. Right, how did he even get that? And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Right. The cry of Jerusalem. Jerusalem make up these whole 12 people. The blacks, the Benjamin, uh, the West the Haitians are our people, the Dominicans, Panama, the Guatemala, the Puerto Ricans are our people. And the thing about the Puerto Ricans, they the second tribe. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all heard that the blacks and the Puerto Ricans are basically the same people. Right, because the uh, black man is the first, is the top tribe, and under him is the Puerto Ricans. That's why we act the same. The Cubans, the Seminole Indians, the Native American Indians, which well, he's a Native American Indian, he's not out the tribe of Cuba. But he's, he's the same. Right. The same. And they told us in uh, elementary school, because I went right here to Frank's school, mm -hmm. they told me he was red. Right. But I'm looking at him, people, he looked just like me. The real red people is behind you. Right. The so-called white men and women. They red. See that? Every emotion, what color they turn? They turn red because they have no pigmentation in their skin. And that's a curse, by the way. Uh, you got something else? Daniel 10, go ahead. Uh, this is Daniel 10 and 5. It says, Then I lifted up my mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen. Right, now they're describing Christ one more time. Just in case people didn't believe that uh, first church. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of euphas. You see that? Yeah, fine gold of euphas. It was the finest gold out there. But this, this society pictured uh, Christ as being poor in the buck and dirt. No, he had to find his goat. Go ahead. His body also was like the barrel. Like the barrel, barrel meaning green, so green garment. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Now lightning means it's talking about he has a lot of wisdom. That's why he got gray hair. White hair. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Right, same description in Revelation. Lamps of fire meaning red. And his arms and and his feet like in color to polish brass. So his arms and his feet color as polished brass. I mean, he's a black man. Just like you. So guess what? If he a black man, then how you think his mama look? Mirror. Black woman. Black woman. What about his father? Black guy. Yep. See, so, so basically what you getting out here today is your history right out the Bible. Get how we got here to slavery. See, because that's what you get. Because you know what? Here come a reverend. Let's see if we can talk to these reverends. According to the Bible, get our get our history real quick, and let's see what they got to say about it. See that? Are you a reverend, sir? That's it. Are you a reverend? Yeah. You believe in the Bible? Of course. So what do the Bible say about the blacks? See that? See how they keep walking? See that's the devil. See that? That go two more devils. See that? Them the ones. Show them the picture. Them the ones. Them the ones that put that picture. Where that fake picture at? See that? This who orchestrated this picture. Yep. See that? But now we're going to go into the history of that. Because you agree that's how you got over here, right? Yep. So let's see if it's in the Bible if we the people. Shouldn't that be in there if we the people? Ain't that, If that's our history books since we claiming it. Let's see if that's actually in there. Deuteronomy 28, Damn devil didn't walk past. And, and, you, and you see, get that the wicked flee when no man pursue it. Because you could have swore I was chasing him, right? When I just asked him, you see, he identified himself. No, I'm a priest. Okay, if you're a priest, what do the Bible say about blacks? You see, he hightailed it up out of here. Because a lot of them, they know who we are and what we're doing and how we're teaching our people. And they know we got the truth. Exactly. Go ahead real quick, you guys. Uh, uh, and he, they racist. He, he hit it. They hate us. Get that the wicked flea. Uh, Proverbs 28. Uh, 28. 
Get it? Okay. Yeah, 28 and 1, so, motherfucker. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. Right. Since the wicked flee with no man pursue. Right, I wasn't chasing him. I asked him a simple question about the Bible. He talking about he a priest. If you a priest and we dealing with the Bible, why ain't you stop? Right, the wicked flee when no man pursue him. Look how far they is. <laughs> Them motherfuckers hit it. And they open, they go. Right. I ain't chasing nobody. We ain't out here being aggressive, talking about we finna jump on people. We just showing y'all our next the next night. Okay, why your daughter? Why your daughter ain't scared then? Right. Cause this is a righteous aura right here. That's what this is. The truth. Go ahead, cuz. But the righteous are bold as a lion. See that? But the righteous are bold as a lion. We ain't running from nowhere. How we how we running, we got the truth. If if we if we of God and God is of us and he with us, then why we running hiding in buildings? Nope, not us. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right, it said the Lord uh -oh. bring thee yeah, into on. Egypt again with ships. See that? Okay. Now, this is the story of Moses telling the Israelites after they walked out of Egypt. But he said they're going to be brought back into Egypt. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee again into Egypt. What? Again with right. ships. Right, the ships. We came to America. America is bondage. That's what the word Egypt means. It means bondage. By so we went into we went into bondage and ships. That's talking about slavery. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right. We won't see our homeland again, which was Jerusalem. Okay. We're not from Africa. Go ahead. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Right. It said we're gonna be sold unto our enemies. You go to auction blocks right here. So why did these pictures, that there's history pictures, link up with the Bible? Right, and, the, and them actually pictures from, from uh, museums. We ain't just picked no pictures and just came out here. Yep. We got them off the internet that came from museums. Because if you go down to the south, where Martin Luther King from, they got these icons. Read that part again, though. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Right, your enemies, that's the point. These so-called white men and women is our enemy. And they know it. The thing is, you blacks and you blacks, Latin and Native Americans, y'all don't know that they the enemy. All the hell that they put on us, but we still want to hold their hands and be friends. But the Bible say enemies. Right, Trayvon Martin is a prime example. Prime example. That ain't nothing changed, but they just call it another name. Same shit. It said enemy. And there you shall be so unto your enemies. Go ahead. For bond men and bond women. Slave man and slave woman. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. Right, ain't nobody come to our aid. Nelson Mandela came over here and said he's not for the African Americans. He's for his people. Because right. he's an African. You got that, Joel? Yeah, okay, go ahead. This is Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days and, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah right. and Jerusalem. He said right the by. captivity of Judah. Right there. Here we go. Captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, the whole tribe, the whole nation. Go ahead. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right. That's talking about World War Three, which is coming, which, which is coming up the pipe. Okay, sitting near you. And will plead with them mm -hmm. there for my people. Right. He gonna plead with us. Part of that plea is uh, we speaking the truth right now. That's part of that plea because our people is waking up. Yeah. Go ahead. And for my heritage, Israel. See that for the heritage. We coming back and we bringing our heritage back to y'all remember. Okay? We wasn't naked in Africa walking around yeah. shooting spears. Right. <laughs> That's those Africans. Those real Africans who are over there doing that. The ones who stretch out their uh tongues and stretch out their uh ears. Right, because if we Africans, would you do that? Would you scratch out your earlobes? What about your neck? Would you would you right, would you let a guy circumcise? Your private part where it only opened this big? No. Because, I mean, how you going to, you know, please your husband when he got to bust you open? That's crazy. But we Africans, though. Right, they got a whole different spirit from us. Oh, yeah. You want to get that? that they eat, put a different Exodus 11. Yeah, yeah. But go ahead, Doc. It says, whom they have scattered among the nations. Oh. Right, it says scattered among the nations. We is all a part of the world. I'm going to grab that... Uh, no. Yep, the map. So I have a question. Um, Thank you. Good. Since you've been out here, how long have you guys been out here? Today? A couple hours. And how many people like acknowledge this? Right. 
They don't like it. They keep walking. See, they there. Yeah. They talk crap. They, they don't like they it. Just, are they just parked there just to... Yeah, just to, just to, just, just, just to hear their judgment. So intimidate. Right. You know, they're trying to intimidate us. Because we don't get intimidated. That's what they don't understand. We don't get intimidated. If we don't get intimidated when it comes to all these sports and then the boxing arena arena and then the UFC, the hell makes you think we intimidate these motherfuckers on the street? No, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. See, we see we natural warriors. See that? So when we got our nationality back, we understood like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me our ancestors go back to King David and King Saul, the, the warriors of the world that's whooping everybody ass? Oh yeah, we got our spirit back. Read this part real quick. Let him read this out. This is Exodus 11 and 7. But against any of the children of Israel.